guys want to hear about the most failed date? I I have never been so like thirsty, mad, and annoyed at the same time when dealing with a woman. First of all, I think I'm fucking gay. I don't know. I don't really like men, but apparently I don't like girls too. Alright, so the reason why I was fucking nervous yesterday a little bit about the date thing and I didn't want to talk about it was because it was a blind date, right? It's a friend of a friend, blind date, you know, meeting pretty late at night. She was after work, all that shit. And, uh... You know, that's stressful. That's not a normal thing in Poland. People don't really do blind dates, but apparently we were cool people, so it was a good idea for us to meet up. And so we did. And, uh, you know, she almost like immediately struck me as a person that I will never like. Like, almost immediately, because she was like one of those pseudo intelligent bitches. You know, she was she was funny and uh, quite charming, and she was really yeah, she was pretty. I don't want to say really pretty. She was pretty. And uh, immediately, like when when she started feeling like better around me, she started talking about how, um, like oh my god, all this all this like pseudo intelligent shit of how nobody should work uh, because. Uh, you know, the world shouldn't be that way, and she just wants to be an artist, and uh, the, the, the fucking society doesn't allow her to do that, and she's forced into working, and she, like, can't discover herself what to do in life, and oh my god, like, all this shit that I just couldn't bear listening to, you know, it's just, bitch, just get a fucking job, go through the hard shit, you know, get good, and then you can whine about this all this shit. She, like, she was confused about the things that she was talking about. I don't know, man. She was talking like we should fucking trade pigs, you know? Like, nobody should work. Nobody... Everyone should have the same amount of fucking pigs and chickens, and we should trade pigs and chickens between each other, and, like... Oh, my God. It's crazy. Right? But we both live ne near each other, and apparently, uh... She was snowboarding for, like, many, many years, so I'm, like, you know, immediately a lot more interested. Even though her views on life are just like fucked up, but I'm like, you know, I maybe maybe we can still talk. You know, we're both young. We can like have all these things going on for us. So we both pick up our snowboards. We go snowboarding. It's a really fucking fun time. She's having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. It's great. You know, uh, it's pretty much just us in the middle of the night on like a fucking hill, like in the middle of nowhere. Well, we go to uh, her place, and. Uh, she starts drinking, man. And I mean, she's drinking. <laughs> this is not good. I already don't really like this girl. I mean, I liked her at that point. I didn't like her in the beginning, then I liked her again after the snowboarding thing. And at this point, I'm kind of not liking her again. And she's fucking just slamming, man. And she gets so, like... She keeps on drinking, and I keep telling her, like, you know, maybe slow down, maybe this and this. I'm, like, joking about it. She's laughing about it. Everyone's happy. But in my mind, I'm like... This girl's fucking, she's like, she's really pushing it. And it keeps going, keeps going, and I keep being more and more skeptical. And she gets real horny, and she keeps, like, flir being, like, super flirty. Like, not flirty, like, sexy, sexy. She's, like, bending over and shit. That type of sexy, you know? She's like, I'm just gonna go. I'm like, okay, you're going to the kitchen. All right. She's like, because she's fucking smashed at this point. And I feel really fucking awkward, which is the reason why I'm saying I'm fucking gay, because I got really mad. I don't know why, something triggered me about it, and I got really, really mad, because she wasn't, she wasn't, like, responding intelligently to anything I was saying. <laughs> she would say things, and she would comprehend, but <laughs> I felt like she was just like, <laughs> and, uh, finally she goes, like, don't you just want to bang or some shit like that? And I go, if I just wanted to fuck, I'd still be fucking my ex who's way hotter than you, essentially. <laughs> she doesn't even, like, I felt embarrassed that I said that. And she doesn't even, like, fucking care, man. She, li she literally didn't even care. She was so out of it. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go. And I, like, she's like, <laughs> I just picked up my shit and I just left. Boom. <laughs>
I don't know. It was it was it was really gay of me to uh, just not bang her outright, but I I don't know. I I feel like what I said was really assholey, but it was really true. I feel like if I was just looking for banging, I could be doing that somewhere else, with somebody way hotter, and then I'm really not looking for that. Did she touch you in the no no place, right? <laughs> she actually did touch me in my no no place, <laughs> but I got away, man. I'm gay. I I don't fuck with that. So yeah, I'm looking for a boyfriend, you know. I was pretty alpha, but I'm also gay, so I don't know. I guess I'm 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 a top, I guess. So if one of you guys is a bottom, we can, you know, we can hook up. 